All right, we're about to get ready for WWE Friday Night SmackDown. And it's on right now, and it's today we are now in the celebration for Roman Reigns' 1,000 days as the undisputed Universal Champion. Five championship held for a thousand days, like three years, and here we go. We're about to see his journey. Roman Reigns, your undisputed WWE Universal Heavyweight Champion, stands at the apex of sports entertainment. championship he never lost what roman said he was gonna do nearly three years ago your payback chief reclaimed his universal championship august 30 2020 roman three years Tyler ago has surpassed legends icons hall of famers yep. On the grandest stage of them all, 224 days later at WrestleMania. And stack his competition. When you have this kind of power, all you gotta do is show up and win. That's a long day since he hasn't lost. But since he relinquished the Universal Champion for the first time since he announced his cancer. So he has to leave for a while. And sent a 16 time world champion into the ocean of obscurity. It is indeed Roman Reigns' time. Every contender unable to withstand Roman's sheer dominance and forced to acknowledge me. Acknowledge me. Challenger after challenger, rumble at his feet. The tribal chief and the bloodline runs WWE. Five hundred days. Roman Reigns, the longest reigning Universal Champion ever. Five hundred eighty-one days late. At WrestleMania. Roman Reigns. Seven hundred thirty four days later, and now nine hundred forty five days later. At WrestleMania. One thousand days later, even the United States champion Austin Theory is wow. the ring, has to acknowledge the tribal chief. And here's Austin the Theory. As we celebrate Reigns tonight, we're going to look back at some of the historic victories during Roman's one thousand day reign as champion. One thousand days of championship is on the line in a triple. The Universal Champion here at WrestleMania 37, April 11, 2021, two years ago. 
Get ready for the main event. 1,000 days as Universal Champion. Just two of the greats Roman's defeated over the past thousand days. We celebrate the historic reign tonight. And you know, in four weeks from tomorrow, in London, two super Get ready for four weeks. Money in the bank. They would climb the ladder, retrieve the briefcase, inside a contract for a title opportunity anytime you want it. But to get to money in the bank, it will be a great qualifying match. Montez Ford against LA Knight. Who will win? In a women's qualifying match for women's money in the bank, Selena Vega against Lacey Evans. Who will be it? This mad patch tonight. Ooh. Hey, no need to have an attitude like that because tonight it's a very special night. Tonight is the celebration of your tribal chief Roman Reigns' historical title reign. But you know what's even better than that? If you took Roman's title reign and you combined it with the greatest United States champion of all time. Ooh. Wait for it. Austin Theory's title reign. You would have, what is that? A total of 1,209 days. Not going to happen. That is impressive. And not only that, it is very inspiring. It's it's almost as inspiring as being the guy that beat John Cena at WrestleMania. Ooh. Well, let's face it. Come on, let's not be idiots here. We all know that I'm going to have a 1,000 celebration for my title. Or a 2,000-day celebration. Maybe a 3,000-day celebration. Probably a 4,000, but if they just keep giving me guys like Sheamus, I'm going to be the United States champion forever. Boo! Guys, you, you really can't boo me because I'm 25 and I'm the greatest to ever do this. It's true. And, and when you're this great, everybody wants to gravitate towards you. They want to be a part of it. So... That brings me to the next two guys that I want to bring out here because these two guys last week did exactly what was right. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you none other than Pretty Deadly. Yes. Pretty Deadly. They did what was right. Pretty Deadly got involved in the Theory Sheamus United States Championship match for no reason. Sheamus was about to win. Oh. Before Pretty Deadly Those two guys from minutes too, yeah. Pretty Deadly. You show with one eye closed. That's your problem, Carl. The Brawling Blues got exactly what was coming to them after they attacked Pretty Deadly on SmackDown Lowdown a couple of weeks ago. You make your bed, you lie in it. That's what happens here on SmackDown. Uh, the man in front is Kit Wilson. The man standing in the back is Elton Prince. They are former two-time NXT Tag Team Champions and perhaps one of the most unique tag teams we've ever witnessed on Friday Night SmackDown. Yeah, they're absolutely superb. They really are a pair of killer queens here on SmackDown. What an outstanding draft pick. I am thrilled that we get them week after week on the Blue Brand. I love that song. Do we do, do we do, right? Justin! Hey, hey, hey! Austin, we came here to tell you that it was our pleasure destroying those ugly gremlins, the brawling brutes. Now, uh, unlike Sheamus, you are a champion that the people deserve. And we just want to come out here and show you how much we appreciate you being such a good champion in a way that only we can. Now my champion, yes, boy! Oh, feels good. 
Here comes the Brawling Brute. Fight Night. You know, the uh, pretty deadly was telling me that uh, the best seamstress in the United Kingdom actually puts their ring gear together. Well, I like Spicy Night. It's absolutely splendid stylings that you could do with a tape from those. So you're out here dressed like a new well, free to call. I was actually going to say that maybe Rich would Rich. Yeah. See that seamstress. Nonetheless, the group set for six man tag team action against Austin Theory and Ray. Kick us off here tonight. Six man tag team match. And this will be Rich Holland starting things off against one Elton Prince. Tell me about Elton Prince. Elton Prince, he is one of the prettiest oh. men I have ever seen in the history of sports entertainment. He's basically neck and neck in first position. With Long Kit Wilson, yes, oh! And but from Ridge Holland, Ridge the French, as Seamus likes to call him, the big brawler, former rugby player for the Bally Brutes. Including the rugby league bad boy, Sin Bin, more times than any player in history. And here comes the rabid Manic Butch. Butch is now in. It's a style very hard to come Yeah! A nice double team by the Brutes. Basically got a group of street urchins taking on the decadently styled team of Pretty Deadly and Austin Theory. Street urchins? Why do you like that? I, you know what? I used to. I've changed my ways as I've got older. I admire, oh, oh, I admire that from Kit Wilson. Kit Wilson off the double team with a big uppercut. Thank you. To Butch. Tell me why Pretty Deadly now refers to this show as Friday Night Snack Down. Because they, they are two tasty snacks. The reason they're so tasty is because they look so sexy. You just want to take a little nibble out of them, don't you? You know what I'm saying. And you change. One shame, Ed. Shame, Ed. We want Shane's chance. That is so rough out here tonight. Oh! Well, you don't need Seamus when Butch is handling business like this. Oh! One short manipulation. This with a big kick. Begging off in the corner. And Austin Theory, the United States champion, went up to the fray over 200 days as he told us all about it early on as the U.S. champ. Seamus believed he had the matchup one last week, and I think he did. And here. What's with the cheering? Yeah! I thought we were about to see a, a another wrestler is about to ambush. I'll be right back.